The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thirteenth chapter, text number five. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 13th, 1973, in Paris, France. Translation. That knowledge of the field of activities and of the knower of activities is described by various sages in various Vedic writings, especially in the Vedanta Sutra, and is presented with all reasoning as to cause and effect. So, <coughs> about the soul and super soul, uh, this evening, great sages, twenty persons, they have also discussed. Just like in the present age also we are uh, different parties, the impersonalist and the personalist, the Sankal Sampradaya, they attain the absolute truth as impersonal, nidvishesha. Uh, and the Buddhists, they attain the absolute truth is zero. Uh, we are struggling with Vishesha Sunnavadi. We are struggling against this with Vishesha Sunnavadi, voice and impersonalist. <coughs> so it is not now new from time immemorial there are different views. Uh, but Krishna refers here with uh, Brahma Sutra Padai, uh, Hitu Madhi Vinishtika. Others, there are many other books from knowledge, uh, they are not very uh, reasonable. That is dogmatic. But Hetu Mangi, if we accept his thought, logic, and sense, uh, that is first class book which gives us information of the Atma Parma. Therefore in the Chaitanya Chaitamrita, the author says, Chaitanya Dayar Patha Karah Vichar. Vichar Kodile Chitte Pare Chavatta. The author says that you kindly put your consideration and judgment about the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahā. And if you consider with logic and reason, vichār karīle, pāvi chitte chamatka, you will feel that these are wonderful things. So we haven't got to accept anything blind. The Brahma-sutra and Vedānta-sutra is called Naya Prasthan. There are three uh, different processes for understanding the absolute truth. Naya Prasthan, Suti Prasthan, Smriti Prasthan. Brahma Sutra is Naya Prasthan. Uh, Naya Prasthan means everything, all the sutras and codes are there with full reasoning. Hetu Madhvi Vinishtiti. And whatever Brahma Sutra says, that is Vinishtita, means asserted. There is no doubt. Just like Brahma Sutra says, Athato Brahma Jignasa, Brahma Sutra says, now it is the time for <coughs> inquiring about the Absolute Truth. Now means uh, in this life, human form of life, or just like in Europe and America, uh, it is the time now to inquire of the Absolute Truth. Because materially they are advanced. They have seen all material advancement. The scientists are now perplexed 
that how we shall maintain ourselves, because we have nothing to give anymore. Whatever stuff we have, we have, that is finished. Now they are simply to bluff. No more stock to give. They have given us motor car and atomic bomb and aeroplane and electronic activity. So many things they have given. That's all right. Simply they could not give us relief from birth, death, old age and diseases. The real problems are there. But they have given some superfluous. Just like this is also scientific improvement, microphone. But the microphone sometimes goes wrong. That does not mean I stop speaking. We can do without microphone. That is not a very great problem. Suppose science has given us motor car. That's all right. But sometimes without motor car we walk. Or there is bullock cart. The real problem, which are very much disturbing us, that we, all of us, we do not want to die. But the science could not give us any formula assuring that there is no more death. That is not possible. So, Athata Parma Jiggasa, as I was talking, then in the Western countries, Europe and America, about forty years ago, sometimes in the year 1935-36, about forty years ago, or little less, one of my god brother, German, his name, Still living, he is now in Switzerland. He is now has taken the name of what is the name? Sadhana. Yes. His 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 real name is Sulle. Jan. So when he came to India in a meeting, he said that so far mystic power is concerned. That we have solved by science. So we have nothing to learn about the mystic power. I have come to India to learn how to understand God and His service, loving service. So actually, and that is the position. Forty years ago, he said. So the Europe and America. They have enough of material environment. Neat eating, wine, oven, and they have got sufficient. So they are not very much interested with all these things. Although, because they have no other alternative for environment, so they are enjoying or trying to satisfy them, but that is not giving them real satisfaction. That's a fact. This wine, oven, and meat eating, uh, that is not giving them any more satisfaction. But because they have no other alternative, what they can do? Puna puna charvita charmananam, chewing the chew, that's all. It is already chewed, it is already tasted, but there is no other alternative, that's why they are tasting the same thing. This way and that way. <coughs> So their time is now Thātva Brahma Jīgyāsā. Therefore, from India, any rascal comes as yogi and sadhu and avatār, they go, they are hankering after. You see, practically, this younger generation, they ask me sometimes, why so many younger, younger generation, come to you. Yes, they are frustrated. They are no more interested to live like their fathers and grandfathers. That is, that has become hackneyed. 
the same things. Same uh, so gambling, same meat eating, same woman hunting, and same intoxication. That has finished. So, uh, when one has finished his material enjoyment, then the next question is Brahmasanka, Athato Brahmadhyasa. They try to inquire about the absolute truth. That is natural sequence. Uh, therefore, uh, the Vidanga Sutra, the first aphorism is Athato Brahmadhyasa. Yes, that is natural. Uh, as you are, you young uh, boys and girls, why you are after me? Uh, the natural sequence is that now we have to inquire what is the next, because this material happiness has not given us any happiness actually. Uh, so when a man becomes civilized, when a man has enjoyed enough of the so-called material, the next inquiry is about the absolute truth, that is natural. That is natural. Because every living entity is a spiritual spark, he is not this body. Uh, therefore Krishna has already explained. To understand what uh, the khetragga, the knower of the body, and to understand what is this body, khetra <coughs> khetragga, and who is the another real proprietor of the body, uh, Krishna, Kitraga, Cha, Pimang, Vidhi. So, if one can understand these three things, uh, Kitra, Kitraga, and the Supreme Kitra, uh, it is, even by common sense we can understand, it requires little cool brain. But that cool brain, uh, cannot act without giving us these four things, uh, namely illicit sex, uh, meat eating, uh, intoxication, and gambling. If your brain is congested always with all these four rubbish things, you cannot think of higher, finer things. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, we restrict to make the brain clear, to understand about Krishna. Uh, uh, Parikhita Maharaj said, Vila Vasuguna Nidhikta Tarasai Rupagiya Mana Bhavau Sadi Chutra Mano Virama Kau Tamasroka Gunanu Bhadar Virat Jati Vila Vasuguna Vila Vasuguna and these are the Shastra injunction. The meat eaters, they have no brain to understand about the absolute truth. They simply speculate. They cannot understand. It's not possible. Uh, that is the Prakrit Maharaj says, Vina Pusugna, except the rascals who are accustomed to kill animals, or everyone who is tax shelter, are the glorification of the law. Except these persons, Vina Vasuna. He says, Nibhita Tarsai Rupagiyamana. Glorification of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. It is chanted by the liberated person. It is not chanted by the conditioned soul. It is not possible. Uh, therefore, uh, not everyone can chant. You, you have seen it, experience, that you are chanting, dancing, very in ecstasy, emotion. Others are standing uh, without opening their mouth. <coughs> they cannot chant. That is a very difficult <coughs> job for them. <coughs> because it is the property of the liberated first, not for the condition so. Therefore, Parikit Maharaj said, Nirdhita Tarasai, Tarasai, Trishna. Trishna means hanker. Hanker. Just like if you are thirsty, you pee. Where is water? Where is water? Where is water? That is called Trishna. 
So, the Bhitta-Tasvi means one who has finished all hankering for material enjoyment. He is called Nibhitta Krishna. Nibhitta means finish. Uh, and Krishna means hankering. Uh, it's the same thing is described in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasotati Nakankati. Kankati. Kankati means if I hanker, that means still I am hungry or thirsty. Uh, but there is a position, Brahma Bhuta position, by Brahma Vigyasa, uh, that we can get relief of these two uh, activities, hankering and leverage. Uh, the material world, there are two things only. Uh, Lamenting and hand. Those who have, those who do not possess his hand carrying. And those who have lost their land. But there are two things only. Actually, you do not possess. Somehow or other, if you possess, that is also lost. That's why we have got this body. Khetragna, Khetra, Khetragna. Kheta is this body. So, uh, by hankering, by desiring, he can get any type of body. There are eight million four hundred thousands of bodies. Just uh, if you are eager to get a certain type of body or certain type of standard of living, Krishna will give you. Jita Thamam Prabhupadam Tetam Sathiva Vajamaham. Because here it is the business. Krishna's business is these rascals, these conditioned souls, they want to lord it over this material world. And Krishna has to supply them. That is Krishna's business in this. Simply bothering. Just like so many children. The father is put into difficulty. One children wants, father give me this. Another child says, my father, give me this, give me that, give me that. And father being affectionate, he has to satisfy all the children. So Krishna's position is like that. Therefore Krishna comes being bothered by this last case. That you want from me so many things, but you are not happy. Please, therefore, give up this business. Sarva dharmaan paritta Mami comes sarva. Just become, uh, follow me, you will be happy. Therefore, Krishna comes. Real solution is that. Krishna consciousness. Therefore, the Vinayana Sutra says, Athata Brahma Jignasa. Now you don't expect for any other thing. Uh, why should you? All other things required by you. That is already supplied. It will be supplied. Why you bother? You just try to understand the value of your life in Krishna consciousness. That is your only business. The saiva hate of prajati is a kovida. Kovida, those who are intelligent. The saiva hate for that thing. Prajati is a endeavor. So try to get that thing. What that thing? Narabhati is a bhramatam parajadha. Just like people are struggling wherever you go, material work, either you go to London or go to Paris or to Calcutta or Bombay, anywhere you go. What is the business? Everyone is struggling. Oh, 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 oh. Day and night the motor car going this way, that way, this way, that way. Uh, last night I was speaking with Sudhar Kirti. Wherever you see this nonsense thing, go, 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 go. Any city you go. The same road, same motor car, same hujus, same petrol. What is this way? But we say, this is the division. I have come to Paris, I have come to Calcutta. But what is the difference between Calcutta and Paris and Bombay? The same thing. Puna, puna, chori, vita, chori, vana, 
again and again chewing the chain. That's it. Therefore, the Brahma Sutra and Bhai says, now you have done this chewing the chew. Uh, so many lives. Chewing the chew means ahara vidya bhaya vai kunancha. Either your dog or your man. You have to make solution how to eat, how to sleep, how to satisfy yourself, and how to defend. The same problem is in the dog life, the same life problem is in the human life. Uh, same life is in the uh, demigod life also. Just like uh, our Bhagavan Das was telling me that in Paris they are living taxes twenty percent for maintaining the expenditure of atomic power. So we are simply creating problems. That's all. The so-called advancement of civilization means uh, the same problem. Uh, atomic bomb, what is that? Uh, defensing. Ahara nidra bhaya. Bhaya means fearfulness. Because we are afraid. Either English or France or German, <coughs> everyone is afraid. Just like a dog is afraid when another dog is coming. So the so-called civilized men, they are also afraid whether Englishmen are coming to attack and the German is therefore there must be atomic bomb, I shall throw, therefore you must give me tap. These things are simply the trying to solve the problems of fearfulness, that's all, defense. So this fearfulness is there in the dog, in the hog in the small sparrow bar, everywhere. You have seen the sparrow bar. Huh? As soon as you're on the land, want to eat something. He's afraid. Huh? It's, it's not somebody coming to kill me. Everywhere. In the aquatic loss. Everyone is afraid for life. But Krishna has given, given them different types of defensive measures. Huh? It is learned from the Shastra that the fish, uh, they can, uh, by, by the waves of the water, they can understand that few miles ahead there is a fish. They can understand. Uh, and they become immediately defensive, how to protect. Because this is coming for existence. I want to eat you, you want to eat me. Jiva, jiva, sajiva, now. This is going on. So everyone is afraid, everyone is taking defense. Even tiger is also afraid. Do you know that? Tiger is also afraid. Tiger has become a very powerful animal. Everyone is afraid of. He can catch anyone and kill him and eat him. Unfortunately, he does not get the opportunity of catching anyone. The tiger cannot eat every day very nicely. Uh, he gets once in a week a chance, or once in a fortnight a chance to capture an animal. Uh, therefore he kills and kills it uh, for eating daily. It is not that just like you are getting daily uh, Bhagavad prasadam, nice dish. Nobody is supplying to tiger. Nobody is going to tiger's uh, prawn, sir, kindly kill me and eat. No. Nobody is there. Everyone uh, 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 has got to struggle. Nahi suptasya simhasya pravishanti mukhi mrida. This is the statement. In this material world is so bad that in the lion, if he keeps himself sleeping, because lion is considered to be the king of the forest. So if he thinks that I am the king of the forest, so why should I walk? Let me sleep. And my eating animals will come and enter into my mouth. No. You have to stop me. You have to stop. You have to find out. Therefore, this energy is called karma uh, sangha anna. This, there are uh, uh, many energies of Krishna, prasya-sakti-vividhaiva-sriyate, but 
lot of scholars, they have divided into three. The spiritual energy, the marginal energy, and the material energy. Tritya, karma, sangha, anya, tritya, sakti, vishyate. So here this material world, either you become a tiger, either you become Lord Brahma, or you become a small ant. You have to struggle for your existence. This is material. You cannot think that I shall be happy without any work. People are trying uh, to do that, that when a man gets some money, bank balance, you know what, what. Uh, but that is the tendency that without working I shall maintain myself happy. That is our tendency. Anandamaya Vyasa, Vidanta Sutra says, because our tendency is to enjoy life. But we do not know where to enjoy, how to enjoy. And that is called illusion. We are trying to enjoy life in this material world where there is no enjoyment. There is no enjoyment. Uh, repeatedly, Shastra says, Krishna says, Dukhalam asasatam. This place is simply for miserable condition of life. Dukhala. Asasana. And still it is temporary. Even if you think, or like there are so many miserable conditions, never mind. Uh, let me adjust and be here permanently. Oh no, that is also not Temporary. You may decorate your Paris city, uh, Napoleon tried and other tried. But you cannot leave yourself. You have to go out. But these last you do not understand. They are decorated. Decorated. Task. Give more task. Give more task. They are decorated. But how, will, how long you shall be in this decorated city? Uh, even if you leave, if you are so much lover, great nationalist uh, of the country, suppose next, next life, you get the, uh, because when one has very much attraction for a certain land, uh, then he again takes birth in that land. So if you take your birth not as human being or as a cat and dog or a cow, then he is sent to the slaughterhouse. Then what is the use of your becoming nationalist? Your man for whom you have worked so hard, Next life, if you take your birth as a cow, the same man will send you to the slaughter. Ah. And these last cases do not know what is the mystery. Ah. Therefore, to make solution of this problem, Athata Brahma Jignasa. Now inquire what is the absolute truth. That is intelligence. Ah. Therefore, Krishna, although he is Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is giving reference to the Brahma Sutra. Whatever he speaks is your life. He doesn't require to refer any authoritative book. He is also giving. You have seen Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is the way. But these rascals are trying to avoid authoritative scriptures. Even Krishna is giving reference to the authoritative scripture. And these last years, they have so degraded. They said, oh, why this book? Now I can manufacture my own knowledge. And other last years have accepted. Yes, it is right. So this is called Kaliju. People are so degraded. Less than animals. Less than animals. Therefore, to revive them, the Vedanta Sutra says, Athāva Brahma Jīgnāsā. Now we inquire about the absolute truth. Thank you very much.